Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do something different, and this is something that I've been doing and just um, thought about this morning. I thought, well, I'll video at least this part and see if you guys like this video or whatever, and um, I've got all three kitties sitting here on the bed. Here, let me spin you around. I've got this on my tripod. You see all of them? Say hey, Chanel. <laughs> um, plus, I'm new to doing these types of videos that I'm not just sitting down, you know, and focus the whole time. So anyway, what I'm going to do is go through my chest of drawers. I am doing a brutal, brutal clean out. And what makes it so brutal is that I've already done this. I've gone through my clothes I don't know how many times and even yesterday let me turn this off even day before yesterday and yesterday I went through my clothes I went through them once while they were doing my closets and then yesterday I went through them again and then this morning I watched a video that I've been you know just watching all kinds of closet tour and organization videos because it just scares me to death after I've gotten my house so clean and neat I've got all this junk sitting around and I don't want to put it back in my closet I don't want to keep anything that I don't need now I also don't want to get rid of anything that you know I'm really gonna want or regret later so you know of course but um, I'm also even though I've got so much stuff I'm not the kind of person that really just likes to look at it um, I have found that even when I did my shoe wall, it didn't really, I like them and they're beautiful, but it gave me almost anxiety because it was cluttery. You know, I hated to see them getting dusty. Um, I, it made me feel bad for the ones that just sat there and I didn't wear. <laughs> and so I watched a video this morning and she just had the best points and I will link it down below. And she just really made a lot of sense. Um, and the big word I can say that describes my reasoning for keeping, hold on just a second. Sassy keeps wanting to lay on my pillows and I don't mind if she lays on my bed, but I really don't want her laying on my pillow. And it, she's very upset right now with me for taking her off. She's probably gonna go right back up there. Lay down, Sassy, just lay down there. Okay, she's laying back down. <laughs> and um, anyway, so um, guilt. Guilt that someone gave it to me. Guilt that I spent so much on it. Guilt that I never wore it. Guilt that, you know, um, that I haven't worn it enough for how much I spent on it. Or... Um, just that feeling of I may wear it anyway you guys know what I'm talking about and um, I really yesterday I put a few things in my closet I had gone and bought a big box of the white huggable hangers and I was putting some things in my closet and I texted a few people like Tammy and my mom and some people I said you know I wish I could put you know give away all of my clothes and get all new clothes to put in here because I want everything to look so neat and that just of course I wouldn't do that and I was just teasing because there's plenty of stuff I want to keep but that just made me realize how much I would rather have everything that I love in there and everything very neat than than I would a lot of extra stuff and um so that is where I'm coming from today and I'm going to go through this chest that I've actually had and I'm going to clean out a couple of drawers. Now in these top drawers, here let me put the camera down. Okay, and you'll have to excuse me, I have on cleaning, house cleaning clothes because that's what I was doing and I decided just to do this like I would. Okay, so in these top drawers, I used to have all of my sunglasses in here and that really worked out well for me to be able to pull out the drawers and see them but i ended up buying a piece that goes out into the foyer to do that and the reason is i wanted to be able to put all of my jewelry in these drawers and so i do have like the case that my mom gave me that has 
all the jewelry that my parents gave me in here. I have another case. I have a little dish that I have some earrings in. I have some other bracelets just put in here. My French candy pieces, a couple of them. I've even got some scarves in here that I will probably move because I've got a drawer in my closet that I want to put those in. And then in this drawer, um, same thing. I have, I just put this in there. I need to find a home for it. But like I have that dish that I showed you guys the other day. I have it in here. Um, I have a dish that my mom gave me. And then I have um, like this dish with my favorite hoops. And um, in this drawer I have, I really don't have anything in here yet, but I have a bowl that I found that I liked. And um, here's my Gucci boxes. And actually there's my ring and my pin. My brooch is on something else. So I have room. And then you see I have these dishes up here that have some jewelry in them. Um, my horse, I bought him at Home Goods a couple years ago and I love him. And I, I recommend doing that. I'm probably going to get rid of this because I'm trying to get rid of every single thing that I don't love. Not that I don't love it, but you know what I mean. Trying to make it where I can just like dust every day. And um, then this is a jewelry box that my mom and dad gave me. I have some jewelry in here like, you know, there's my Chanel pin. Um, just lots of other stuff in here. Just, um, I don't know if you guys remember this YSL necklace that my friend Nadine found for me when I was looking for it. Just different things in there too. Okay, so we're going to start off with this drawer, which is a deep drawer, and I have sweatshirts and miscellaneous things in there, and I'm going to start going through them just one by one. Okay. Oh gosh. The first one is a uh, is something that I threw in here from one of the other times that I've gone through. Okay, this is a Banana Republic turtleneck. Looks like I got it on sale for $33. And knowing me, I probably got it for more than that. And I don't wear turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are not my thing. And I keep buying them thinking I'm going to wear them and I don't. So I'm going to put this in a giveaway pile. Okay, that had already gone through, I think, two pass-throughs, and um, I just was thinking, okay, I'm going to wear it and just see if I like it. Well, if I haven't worn it yet, then it's not something I want to make it wear. There's no reason that I can't be thrilled with everything that I wear. There's no reason I should wear stuff out of guilt, and I do that a lot. I'll see something in there that I haven't worn, and I'll just wear it just because I feel like I should. And I want to just kind of get away from that. And I feel like it's going to, you know, kind of um, kill two birds with one stone. Or maybe three or four birds. Who knows? Okay. Okay, this is the sweatshirt that I bought at H&M. And I still haven't worn it yet. But I'm going to give it a chance. Plus, Brooke likes it. So, I'm going, I really like it. It reminds me of something like Gucci or something. And um, so, I'm going to see if... Um, I'm going to put that in the keep for now. Okay, this is a Wild Fox sweatshirt that I do wear. I like this one because it has the v-neck, and a lot of times, I'll be honest with you, I sleep in this and or take the kids to school in it, and I like Wild Fox sweatshirts because they're so thin, and so I'm going to keep that one. Okay, this is another Wild Fox sweatshirt that I love because of the tiger, and I love that it's red, it's the thin, and it's v-neck, so I'm going to keep it too. Another thing I need to admit is I have all of my clothes, or all of Will's closet is, um, I don't have the whole closet. Brooke and I share it for our overflow and for our other season, so I do have my clothes in other places too. But I'm working on that too, to not really, I've gone through that closet and I'll probably go through it again, but um, I'm going to do everything, my shoes, everything. And I've decided what I was going to do is selling my stuff is such a pain and it's so hard for me to decide. I want you guys to get such a good deal, but I want it to be worth it for me to go through the trouble. John hates doing that because he has to help me ship it and stuff. But what I'm going to do is I've... Um, thought of one thing that I would really like, and it's expensive, it's something that um, I'm ha I've had a hard time spending the money on, and I'll save it for a surprise. So I'm going to sell several, several things, 
and try to save up for this one item. So that's kind of motivating me to sell some things that I wouldn't have. And it's like the girl said, um, you know, when you're keeping something just because you haven't worn it or because someone gave it to you or whatever guilt you're doing, it being there is not, is not doing anything to help that. And you just constantly feel that feeling. And I think that's what bothers me is that feeling of, oh, I need to wear that. Or oh, I bought, I've spent so much money on those and I never wore them. And another thing she said to think about is think about the style that you want to portray and that is realistic. And a lot of times I don't do that. I'm doing something that I think maybe you guys might want to see on me or I'm doing something I think is, you know, trendy that I might just want to experiment with or, um, you know, I'm just not, or a lot of times I think I see something and I have this fantasy that I'm going to be this girl who wears flats with black pants or something. Or I have this fantasy that I'm going to be this girl who wears combat boots. Or, you know, I, I see other stylish people and it's like I want to be that person, but I need to know that I'm not going to. I need to know that every time I walk in my closet, nine times out of ten, what I'm looking for is something black that is comfortable. I love black dresses. I love dressier dresses like, you know, um, Diane von Furstenberg, even Banana Republic, Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor Loft. Um, lots of them from Bloomingdale's and stuff like that. And that's just what I feel the best in. Even if I'm too dressy for the situation, I don't care. And I think that's what matters. I think that's what makes you confident. That's what makes you look good. That's what makes you feel good. And, you know, I just don't feel good when I am, even if I think other people think it looks good on me, if I don't feel good in it, it's really not what I should be wearing. So here we go. Okay, <laughs> this is a sweater that I wore the other day and I loved it. And I'm not really a sweater person, but I love this one. I love the um, little frilly sleeves on the end, the, the end of the um, waistband. It's, I couldn't find it when I looked for it. It's 525 America and I bought it off of Shopbop when I, we did that sale and I think several of you got it too. So I'm gonna keep this. Okay, um, here is a Nation tank top that I, Nation Limited tank top. I probably bought this from either, I think I bought this from Tory Bell when they were here and I just do not wear tank tops like this. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, this, okay, this is something I love. I love these so much. This is the Getting Back to Square One, I believe. It's either that or black. I think it's getting back to square one, but it's those Bardo tops. And these I love so much. It's got my hair on it. And I'm definitely gonna keep these. And I might even hang these because I love them so much. I don't wanna forget about them. Okay, this is a sweater that I bought from, I think Forever 21. Yes, I paid $19.90 for it. Um, I haven't worn it yet which means I probably am not going to wear it. So I'm gonna put it in the, oh gosh, I do, I feel guilt for this, but I'm gonna put it in the giveaway pile. I think it's just something I liked and I, it's just not me. It's just too big and blousy and I just don't think that I would feel my best in this. I would rather, I think I'd rather someone else have it and enjoy it. Okay, this is another sweater that I bought from that Shopbop sale that I have not worn yet. It's Wild Fox, but um, it just really got sweater weather here. Um, and I really do think I would like this because it's thin and it'll probably be fitted. So I am going to give this one shot and see if I really love it. Um, and so I'm going to keep this just to see. Okay, oh goodness, another tank top. Okay, this is a Massimo tank top. I wear the heck out of these, but I think I've probably got too many, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start a pile, and we'll see how it goes. So it's a black tank top. Okay, there may be some summer stuff in here too. 
Okay, this is a dress that I bought from Oliver, and it's a summer dress. It's from Blessed Are the Meek, and I remember I really liked this, and this is something that I would like. It's kind of fitted. It's not too short, and I remember, I always remember when I wear something and John compliments me a lot on it, so um, I'm going to keep this, but I'm just going to hang it up in here. Or I'll probably put it over with my summer. Okay, this is a sweater that I bought years and years ago from Oliver, and it's a long wild fox sweater, and I can remember really wanting this so bad, but it was so expensive, and I bought it, and I really do love it, and actually, I wish I wore it more, so I'm going to keep it and um, wear it with leggings and boots was my favorite way of wearing it, and now I will probably wear it more because I won't be sidetracked by all the other stuff that I'm trying to wear. It's like, why would I wear, why would I force myself to wear this when I know I love this, you know? So I'm going to save this and put it in a more visible place. Okay, here are some jeans in here too. Okay, these are some Olivia Palmero culottes and Chelsea. And I got these because they were in style and I just wanted to try it. I did, and I liked it okay, but it's not my go-to. In the summer, my favorite thing, you guys know, is to wear dresses. I like just, that's just my thing, and it's more comfortable. Just looking at this waistband and the whole crotch and everything of these, it's like I remember that tight feeling, and um, so I'm going to let someone else enjoy these. Okay. These are a pair of like palazzo pants that I bought from Target. They're real soft, real comfortable, and I'm going to keep these because this is something I think I would like to wear with just a white tank top. These are, they're comfy, they're thin, and I'm gonna give these another shot this season to see how it goes. Okay, oh goodness. Okay, this is a um dress that john loves this is a um michelle jonas dress i bought it from tori bell and it's very very sexy very it's a long maxi dress with the keyhole and um i am going to keep it i'm going to hang it up and keep it for next summer and see if i end up wearing it it looks really good with just flip-flops but yet it's really really flattering and um, I think the Housewives of either Beverly Hills or OC or something made these real popular. Okay, and then this is a pair of Madewell um, like overall jumpsuit. Um, I remember wearing this and I remember someone saying to me, I think I was in Belk and the girl said, um, you know, you look good, Lisa, or you look so good. It's hard to pull off a jumpsuit. <laughs> and um, so, but you have to be feeling really, really just so good to wear this. And I had this slight feeling of looking like a giant toddler in this. And this is another thing that I feel about me is I don't feel like I'm a cute girl. I just don't feel... Um, I'm too angular and I just don't feel cute. So anytime something is like cute to me, I just don't feel like it goes with my look at all. And I feel like these are a little bit of cute. And so I'm gonna let someone else enjoy this. Someone that is um, tall and just loves wearing stuff like this will just love these because they're so nice. I mean, it, they did, they were really pretty, but I'm gonna try to be very, very, very realistic. So um, I'm gonna put the stuff back in that I'm gonna keep and then I'll hang up some stuff later. Okay. I'm gonna hang those summer things in my summer closet. Okay, the bottom drawer is, if you can believe it, here I'll see if you can see. Yes, that whole bottom drawer is tank tops. And it's ridiculous. I do not need this many tank tops. 
I probably have, okay, this is a James Purse tank top. These are my favorite. They don't make these anymore, so I'm going to keep this. But it is see-through, but I still love it. It's a very flattering cut, and I still like wearing them like to bed or under things or around the house, so I'm going to keep that because I can't replace it, and I love it. Okay, here is another black Massimo tank top. And they don't sell these anymore either. Okay, here is another, with the tags on it, James Purse. So I'm going to keep it just so I have a few. Okay, here is a tank top that I got from Cita Couture. And I do like these. They're very pretty. Um, I might even see if Brooke wants this because they have the prettiest little edge and they do look really good under stuff, but they were too thick and bulky and they just didn't fit my body right. It was too, it left like a big pocket. And so I'm just going to see if Brooke wants this. I don't think she will though, because I think it will be too big, but, um, I love that. It's really pretty. Okay. This is going to be another Mossy Mo black tank top put it there. Okay, this, I love these little tops. Just a little, um, and Brooke uses these too, like a little cami type tank top. Um, I prefer when they're stretchy, but um, I'm going to save this because I love this color too. Okay, an orange James Purse tank top. As much as I love these, I don't think that I will wear this that much. So I'm going to put it in the giveaway pile. Okay, this one is just, uh, this needs to be thrown away. When I hear people say throw away stuff that has holes or needs to be mended, I'm thinking, why would anybody keep something like that? But this, I guess, would be that a case of that. It just looks too raggedy. So I'm going to, I might even, a lot of times I'll keep soft stuff like this for dusting and dusting off my shoes. So we'll see about that if I throw it away. Okay, here is another white <laughs> James Purse tank top. This one actually has makeup on it. I'm going to put it in the giveaway pile. I don't know if that makeup will come off. Okay, this is another James Purse tank top with the tags on it. I'm just going to keep this one just to see if I wear it this summer. If I don't, I'll get rid of it next go round. Okay, this is a Gap tank top. Um, and I don't remember wearing this that much, but I'm going to keep it just in case I need, it looks thick enough. I'm going to keep it just in case I need a white tank top. Oh, I'm embarrassed to tell you it's another white James Purse tank top. Okay. I'm going to keep this because I think Brooke, I'm going to give her a chance to on that. Okay. A gray Massimo, I bet. And I don't usually wear the gray ones that much. I'm just, okay, I'm going to keep one because I know I've got more than one. So one gray Massimo. Okay, here is a white Massimo tank. I'll keep a white, another white Massimo. Okay, this is, oh my gosh, another Gap white tank. Okay, I'm going to give this away. Oh my goodness, another white James Burr's tank top. Okay, I'm going to give this away. Okay, I remember when I bought this and it did not fit well. It's an LNA light blue tank. It was just too, I don't know, it just didn't fit well. Okay, this is a really cute tank top. I always loved these straps, but I never ended up wearing it as much as I should. So I'm going to let somebody else wear that. Um, this is an LNA tank that has like the cut in. And I can't wear these because I have to wear a strapless bra. Then I end up not doing it. And um, I'm going to give Brooke a chance at this. And then if she doesn't want it, I'll give it away. I don't know. I think I'm just going to give it away. She doesn't need any more stuff like that. Okay, here is a dingy looking white tank top that I'll throw away or use somewhere else. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed to say it's another white James Purse tank top. My God, I must have forgot how many I had. Okay, this is a Vince tank in medium. I'm going to put this in the giveaway because I don't, I remember not liking that as much as I should. 
Here's another one of those stateside tank tops. And it's just, you know, real worn in, but that's the way it's supposed to be. This one doesn't have any stains or anything on it, so I'm gonna give it away. A white, oh, you wanna go out, Sassy? how cats are they can't stand if the door is shut so a white Massimo I'll give away um, this is actually like a it looks just like a dingy white but it was actually like a tan color but I'm going to give that away I never did wear it um, a light blue James purse I'm gonna keep that a gray James purse I'm gonna give it away um, okay this is a Calvin Klein I think I had read that um, Sarah Jessica Parker, her favorite tank was a white Calvin Klein. And um, I don't know if I've ever worn this, so I'm going to keep it. Um, this one looks dingy and old. It's a Gap medium white tank. And let's see. This is another Massimo gray. I'm going to give it away. Um, this is another... Goodness, Massimo Gray. Uh, another Massimo Gray. Okay, this is probably an LNA. A lot of times I would wear these over my bathing suit. Um, but I don't really think this is flattering on me, so I'm gonna give it away. I'm not I'm not very athletic and I feel like they look so athletic. Okay, a black Massimo. I'll keep another black one. Um, another, a black James Purse. I'll keep that. These don't take up much room. Um, a white Massimo. I'll give away. A black Massimo. I'll give this away. Oh my gosh. A Gap black tank. Mm, I'm going to give it away. And another black Massimo. I'm going to give it away. <laughs> My mom might want some of these. Okay, this is T by oh, T Los Angeles tank. I might just make a bundle of some of these designer tanks and sell them with my stuff. That's probably what I'll do. Um, and then a James Purse black. So I'll, that's what I'll do is I'll make a bundle of all those tank tops and then sell it on my blog. And then this is just all that's in here is the tag from the furniture. Okay, the next drawer is a very, very ugly, ugly drawer. It is a drawer full of bras and a few nightgowns and some slips. These are my favorite slips, the little short half slips that you can get them um, at Walmart. Yeah, I think it's Vassarette. And these are wonderful in the summertime because it if you wear thong underwear or whatever, it just makes everything look better. So I do, I love these, but I'm not going to go through. Here's another one, a real pretty one that I got. Isn't that pretty? Um, I'm not going to go through this just for obvious reasons, but I do need to go through that. And then, okay, another deep drawer down here. Okay. Let's start by, oh, this is a guilt thing. I purchased this and I love it. John's favorite number is seven. I haven't worn it. I think I've worn it one time. And I just, I just don't think I want to wear it anymore. I just, I like it, I love it, but I just, I haven't worn it. So I just, I'm, I'm gonna try to be honest with myself. Okay, this is a an express plain black sweater and I do like this and I need to hoping to get everything out more visibly really liking this it's just plain 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 and it's kind of fitted I love stuff like this with just black pants um, so I'm going to keep that okay oh this is another one of my favorite favorite these are my favorite tops like why do I keep anything else when I love these so much it's another one of the getting back to square one they have the off the shoulder and then they have the one that's kind of like boat neck. I like both of them. So I'm definitely keeping this and just the way it feels is amazing. Okay, and here's another one, the cream. This one is not as easy to wear um, if you wear a 
strapless bra, but what you can do is if you get a pretty nude bra with pretty straps, you can kind of get away with it because it comes right over your shoulder and then the strap is like right there and then half the time my hair is on it too. So, oh, I just love these so much. I don't know if you can just see. They have the best weight and feel. Okay, this is a cool item. Oh, I'm gonna have to vacuum. Um, it's like a little capelet that has a, you know, like a turtleneck. It's really neat, it's sexy, but I mean, I just don't wear it. I don't have that much opportunity to wear this and I think somebody else would enjoy this more than I do. Okay, another, um, getting back to square one, the gray top. I love these. As you can tell, I think I've, every time Kelly gets another one in, I get it. Here's the long sleeve. See, I want to get, put these in my closet. Here's the long sleeve. This is the one that's more of a boat neck. You can see how it kind of crisscrosses right there. So if you don't want off the shoulder, you could get this one. And, okay, what is this? Oh, okay, this is Mini Rose. It's a cashmere black sweater. It's like all one size. It's kind of cropped and I love it. Um, they actually sent this to me and um, I need to wear it more. I don't wear it, of course, cropped. I don't think you're really supposed to unless you're wearing something really high-waisted, but I like to wear it over a tank top just tucked in or a long sleeve shirt, so I'm going to keep that. And let's see. Oh gosh, I was wondering where this was. Okay, this is a 360 360 cashmere dress that I got from Oliver and um, it last time I wore it, it did not look that great on me. I think I'm gonna give it another shot just because it's so nice, it was so expensive, um, it's so versatile and I'm gonna wear it like with something over it and see, give it another shot and see if I like it. What I didn't like is see how these pucker? Um, I just wasn't crazy about that. You know what? I think I'm gonna just put this right now. I'm just gonna put this in the cell pile and just face it. Okay, this I love. It's Club Monaco. I remember I bought it on sale and I love it. It's a little cropped sweater. It looks good in the spring. And um, I have a picture wearing this and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna keep this. It's really cool, cute looking. Okay, this, oh my goodness, you guys. You know how much I love these old raggedy, big wild fox sweaters. But is this really me? <laughs> I mean, is this, this is something sometimes I want to be but I don't feel comfortable in this, especially because the sleeves are like this. I just think someone else may really, really enjoy this, and so I'm going to sell it. Even though I really like it, but... Okay, this is... Wow, what the heck is this? This is a big turtleneck gray sweater from Gap, and it's a large... And I don't know, I must have thought I was going to somewhere very cold to wear this because I would hardly ever wear this here. So I'm definitely selling this. So I might make another bundle of sweaters to sell. Okay, I'm almost done. This is, Jenny Bird wore this when she did one of our jewelry collections and I bought it and I love it and I did not wear it enough. So I'm gonna keep this and put it in my summer stuff and hopefully wear it like I should next year. See, this stuff gets buried and I don't even think about it. Okay, this is a um, 360 cashmere. I think this one might be the linen one because I just took, oh, yeah, I just took a, one of these to the dry cleaners yesterday. I had something on the sleeve. I think this one, yeah, this is the linen. So this is the summer version of that. You guys know I love skulls and everything and I'm gonna keep this just because I do like it and I'm gonna give it another season chance. Okay, this is something I have drug around and almost given away so many times but guilt made me keep it and it is from 
I remember John took me on a shopping spree in Myrtle Beach and I think we went to Anthropology, and I bought this and it was expensive and I never wore it. Um, what brand is it? Moth? Huh, I don't know, but it's one of those that's like really big and so it's real slouchy and it's just not me. It really, it really looks really cool on. See how it has those like butterfly sleeves? But um, so I will put that in one of the bundles that I will um, sell at a good price, I promise. Okay, so that is my drawers. Um, I'm going to, just for the time being, put um, these things back in the drawers until I decide. But I have taken this, this, and this drawer and combined them into one. And then the rest of the things I've got um, some to throw away and then I've got um, just these things to hang in my summer closet. Four things. And then let me show you what I have on the bed here. Can you see right here? Yeah, this is what I have to um, either sell or give away. So um, I will probably bundle these things up and then put them on my website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I didn't give like a proper tour of the room. You could probably see some of it, but I'm really not at that point yet, but I'm getting there. And I thought I would just share my journey with you. And um, so let me know how you like this video. And if you want more, I have other things to go through and um, I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.